first, I wanted to just share why I'm deciding to have such a drastic haircut. Mainly because I feel like I don't look good with short hair. My long hair has definitely become a security blanket for me. I feel like that's the reason I should be doing it. Good morning, beautiful human beings. Today is the day that I am getting <laughs> So I'm getting a haircut and Skylar is going to be coming with me A because it's a big deal and I'm a little bit dramatic B because they're gonna help film a little bit of it for this video um, we just woke up we're having our morning coffee and I wanted to share kind of my top five tips for um, how to prepare for if you're going to do something drastic in terms of getting like quite a lot cut off your hair, doing a different style, maybe you're coloring it, something like that, and you're a little nervous, but it's something you want to do. First, I wanted to just share why I'm deciding to have such a drastic haircut rate this stage of my life. Um, I've actually had quite long hair for a very long time. I think pretty much my entire teenage adult to adult life, it's been this length or longer and um, I had it cut off maybe a couple of times a bit shorter and grew it out right away, hated it. But the reason that I have had long hair is mainly because I feel like I don't look good with short hair. I'm insecure about having short hair. My long hair has definitely become a security blanket for me. I'm very attached to it. Um, if I'm going out or doing something and being social, I feel like my hair becomes my focus. Hey babe. It's you. Hi babe. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna move. Okay, you can go. Um, whenever I go out, it becomes the focus of, you know, if I'm gonna have a good night or a bad night, if I've been able to have the time to do my hair or not. Um, every day when I'm at work, I don't actually want to put a lot of effort into styling my hair. I actually try and sleep longer than I leave for prep time for going to work or anything so it usually doesn't look that nice and then I don't feel like I look that nice and then it just affects really your whole day sadly so I kind of want to let just like let go of all of that and not be so focused on that it's, it's almost a little bit suffocating to be honest for me in my life when I'm afraid of doing something I feel like that's the reason why I should be going and doing it and facing that fear so that is what we're doing today. So in order to prepare for this haircut, um, one tip I would give to anyone going to a hair salon is to put your best face forward. Um, oftentimes I've gone to get my hair cut and styled and I didn't, you know, put any effort into the rest of my look and then it kind of affected how I felt about what, how my hair looked at the end of the day. I feel like if you're gonna do something drastic, make sure you feel really good. For me, I'm gonna, you know, put on some makeup, put on a cute outfit, feel cute, and that's gonna help, I think, with how I'm gonna feel about getting my hair done today. Tip two, obviously, is bring in a ton of photos of different styles of the, the length that you want. Um, try and pick people, models, people on Pinterest that actually have the same hair texture as yours. Be realistic about what your hair is actually going to do. Make sure you actually have a really thorough consultation with your hairstylist and that they're honest with you about what you're actually going to be able to accomplish. I've been collecting photos for a while now and I think I have a pretty good grasp on what I want, but I'm excited to talk to my stylist today about realistically how it's going to turn out. Three, I'm gonna just say go into it with not having any reservations. Don't allow yourself to regret cutting your hair. It's easy to be like, oh, why did I do that? I hate it now, I, I don't, like, it doesn't look the same. Um, but that's really not gonna get you anywhere. Um, I don't, I, my plan right now is I know that I love my long hair, but I'm not going to grieve the loss of it after this is over. It's just change and change is good. Fourth tip, make sure you are well fed before your appointment. There's so many times I've gone to get my hair done and it takes longer than I think and I'm starving. So make sure you, you have a snack, you're well fed, so you're not hangry. 
bring someone with you that you trust. Skylar's gonna come with me today. They kind of have an idea of what I like and also I'm not usually the best at speaking up when something's not going right, especially when it comes to being in a hair salon. Many a times I've gotten my hair done and left and went home and cried. <laughs> so um, I've communicated a lot to Skylar about what I want and they have no problem speaking up. So I'm confident that if something's not going the way that I want it to, that they will intervene. Right, babe? That's right, babe. Teamwork. So I'm going to go get a little cuter and be back later. Okay, so we're about to head out the door, feeling a little bit cuter. Put on a cute shirt, some cute pants. Obviously, you did put on a, a lot of makeup. And I thought of two more tips while I was doing all of this. One being that always go to your hairstylist with your hair styled the way you wear it the most. So if you straighten your hair all the time, you curl your hair all the time, basically whatever way that you style it all of the time, that's how you want it to be when you go to the hair salon so that your stylist kind of can cut and style a hairstyle that's gonna work for you most of the time. So majority of the time my hair is not straightened, it's this, looks like this and I don't usually put any products in it so there's nothing in my hair right now. Um, it's unwashed hair, so just gives your stylist something, a better idea of what they're working with. And then my last tip before we leave, what was my last tip? And, oh. Ideally you wanna go to a hairstylist that you've been going to for a, a while if you're doing something drastic. I, for example, have been seeing Ryan for probably like five or six years. He's been cutting my hair, coloring it, all of that. So he knows what I like. He knows um, that this is gonna kind of be a big deal. He actually did, when he did my cut for my wavy curly hair journey, I wanted him to cut more than he did. And um, and then I, went, I left the salon being like, oh, I wish he would have cut more. And then I went home and cried about how much he cut. So he's very smart. He knows how I feel about my hair, so. Um, that's what I suggest. And if you don't have a stylist that you've been to for a long time, then make sure you talk to people and actually do consultations with hairstylists. They are supposed to do a consultation with you to talk to you about what you want to achieve. So if a hairstylist doesn't do that, I wouldn't recommend using them. So those are my tips. Now we're gonna go feed some, some cats, some friends of ours, we have to feed their cats and going to get my nails redone because they're pretty jacked right now then the haircuts. Well, I am sitting in our car and just received news that my hair appointment got canceled. So that's okay. Um, dental emergency, which I'm sure we can all relate to if you have a toothache or a you know, a dental emergency that's pretty much becomes priority. So understandable. Sometimes things work out the way they're supposed to work out. So maybe I'm not emotionally ready yet today to have my hair cut. And so we're just gonna reschedule. So this video is just gonna be about how to prepare for the haircut. I think that those tips that I provided will help you if you're considering going for a big change comment below any tips that you might have that we can share amongst each other maybe some more for me before I actually go in and get this done because it's not happening today I'm definitely a little sad because I really really ramped myself up for it but it's going to happen and I'll let you know when I know if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated to my next video which should be my hair cutting video where I do all the steps that I just talked about all over again on a different day when I can get it done. So, mwah, goodbye. Hi friends, I'm actually just going to end the video on a very happy note because, well, it's not that happy, but turns out today wasn't the best day for me to get my hair cut because old Aunt Flo came to visit today and my cramps I'm just gonna put it all out there. We're not, you know, I was suffering today. So I've got myself some uh, dairy-free 
cookie dough ice cream. I am in bed on my computer and uh, yeah, and if I would have had to get my hair done today, I would have been in a hair salon right now. But now I get to be tucked in bed, chilling for the rest of the night. So the universe works in mysterious ways. Just leave you with that. Stay tuned. Next video coming soon. Thank you.